Hello parrots. How are you? I'm good. So today is our last paper making day this week. Again, today we don't need very much, just some paper, pencils, scissors and a little bit of string or something like that to just tie them up. So we're going to make spiral snakes. Now we have done these before in class. I don't know if you remember, but they're rather fun. You cut them out. I'll show you in a moment. So you cut them out and you can hang them up and they can catch in the wind and you can decorate them however you like. You could use crayons, paints, pencils, felt pens. If you have something nice and shiny and sparkly to stick on, that would look great. You could maybe ask if you could use some silver foil from the kitchen or just stick little bits of silver foil on to catch in the sunlight. So bear with me and I will show you how we make them. So ready? Here we go. Let's just put this down there. There we go. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to fold this in half because I don't think we need all of it. So I'm just going to cut this. Just like I did with the fish, I could actually make two if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. We're just going to make one. Now, then we need to draw a spiral. So we start in the middle. We need to leave quite a big lump in the middle. So we start like that, if you watch, and we go round. You can make them as fat or as thin as you want to. This isn't going to be a very big one. And that's where we leave it. Now, what you can do is decorate it before you cut it out. So I'm going to just show you, I'm going to use a gold pen that I've got. So I might put some wriggly lines on it. It's a snake after all. Wriggly lines all the way round. I might choose to put a different colour with that now. I've got some blue, so I'll do that. And that can come and weave in and out of that line and we can see how that does. Whoops. I think my pen's running out. Okay, so once you've done the decorations, and as I say, you might want to put glitter or sequins or anything sparkly on there. Let me pick it up and we cut, but we're going to cut around these lines. So we're going to cut around the lines that we've drawn, and that's how it then pings out into the snake shape. So let's just show you. So if you look, I will start here and cut around the lines I have drawn. So if you look, cuts like this. Just a second. There we are. That goes like that. And like that, and like that, and we keep going. So when we get to there, we keep going, and we keep going, and we keep going, and we keep going all the way around. It's a good idea to make sure that when you draw these lines, you draw them so that they're really easy to see. And then all the way around to the end. And then we go like that. And if you have a look, let's put away this rubbish. If you look, you can see it pings out into a spiral shape. OK, so I'm just going to pop this back up. You can see you've got a spiral shape then and if you put lots of sparkly things on there you could put them underneath as well. I haven't actually but you could decorate underneath which would make it look amazing and then ask a grown-up to help you put a hole through the top and you could find something to thread through and make it hang up. So have fun 
have a good day and I will be back to talk to you once more this week.